Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a picture of, I think it's the Darwin's Church and the uh, Gefian Statio in Copenhagen. And it was rainy at the time quite significantly. So I've got blobs here where the rain got onto the, the window up here and so on and down here. These here we can fix reasonably easily. We just get an in-painting brush and just paint over those and those will when it gets round to it oh yeah when you get near the edge here don't overlap the green there otherwise it'll start to smudge things there those sorts of things are quite easy to fix when we get into something like over here now we're going to get more into sort of clone type stuff so here i'm going to use the clone brush uh, i'm going to open it here i've got 100 percent opacity there it's okay I'll click out here, and you often cloning sideways in the sky is usually a, gets the colour closer to what you want it to be. So now I can just can see paint around here. Maybe bring that down a little bit in size so I can. So there I can get that. Alt click a little bit closer here to get around the edge of that. So I fix that pretty quickly. What about this bit up here? Good way to do that is alt click down somewhere where it's healthy, even a bit further down there so I can and then you've got to fit it exactly to the line there so that when you paint it, see that's just a little bit out as true. Alt make it a bit bigger to get that right. So alt click on that. Get it exactly fitting. Sometimes maybe I need to go in a little bit closer. There. Is that it? No. There, yeah, that's better. And then I can also go down over the the flint there. This one at the back here, there's not a lot you can do about that without actually doing some more direct painting work or even copying from the one up here, maybe shrinking it. Don't have time to do that here so but this is the one that's the biggest puzzle look what's happened here well in particular you the, the focus isn't too bad so it hasn't blurred it too much but what's happened in particular here is it's lost contrast so i need to fix contrast i tried doing things like haze removal with it i tried doing curves but the best thing that worked the best is to go to adjustments here and brightness and contrast and if you turn the contrast all the way up, literally all the way up, it has a makes a dent on this. It's, the colour starts to go funny here, so changed it to luminosity, so only brightness is changed. So the colour is, is a, make sure the colour is, is kept. Um, but it's also affected the whole image. So if I Control Z, you see it, it's effectively the whole thing's been contrast's been affected, and I don't want to do that. So I go to this and I hit Control I, which inverts it, which basically turns it off so that it uses the, uh, the built in mask. But now I've got to restore some of that. So what I'm going to do now is get a paintbrush here with a white paint, and this now I can paint over this and kind of restore that. I've got a pasty 100 there. I could be a bit more subtle and do it a little bit at a time, but we're doing this fairly quickly. But what we can see now is we've got part of it, but it's not fully done. So I just hit Control J, which to copy this, but now this has gone too much. So if I Alt click on that to see it, see I've got this still here. So I'm going to paint in black over the top of that so that now when I go back out here, select that one again, now if I paint in white on this, I can be a bit more selective about it. Maybe now turn the opacity down a bit. So I've got some around the edge here. There's still a little bit there in the middle. So I'll hit Control J again to get another copy of it. Paint in black all over this to turn, make sure this is not affected but then go to white and just go to the area here where that is 
Now I can go down here to other areas like down here there is a blob and there's one over here. Now I just pick one of these and just paint in white on that and just one of that's probably about enough there just in here is going to bring that back I don't need so much. If I need a bit more I can go into another one of those and there's another bit down here which I can bring back there. Control zero and there you go it's done quite a reasonable job of fixing those things. Let's go to before and after. So before and after, before and after. Improved it quite significantly. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.